I don't like throwing away. Try to use the materials which are available and then try to make uh, a product which is, is, is most pragmatic for that piece of furniture. Uh, in my, my way of designing, I always use the available materials and skills and machines and opportunities and I never think about something which is not available. Right. And by doing that, you might say, you make your world smaller yes. and the opportunities, on the other hand, there are still so many opportunities oh, yes. to choose from yes. that it's not like a limitation. It's just that you, that you are uh, using your energy quite pragmatic. Right. Do you ever feel out of ideas? You said no. When I was young, I thought I, I should hurry up because old people don't have ideas. Okay. I thought. <laughs> <laughs> and it becomes worse. So, so because you, you, you experience so much all the time, of course, if you're not doing anything, it doesn't, I don't think you improve, but, but because I work every day and I get a lot of uh, ideas and a lot of uh, materials, a lot of machines, a lot of opportunities, a lot of people who, who, who come with other plans. Mm -hmm. So in fact, you, you, the vocabulary you have and uh, also the opportunities you have grow. So right. the ideas grow also. Right. So it's, it's getting worse and worse in terms of quantity. What's your vision or position on, on ownership of ideas? Well, in general, it's, uh, it's uh, by law, uh, <laughs> uh, an intellectual, yes. uh, an idea is, pr uh, is, pr uh, is yours. So it's, it's, if you steal it, it's, uh, it's death. And I think it's true. I think you shouldn't, be, shouldn't take other one's ideas in terms of production. Right. And, uh, but in, on the other hand, there are many ideas. So people say uh, it should be uh, not allowed to make scrap wood furniture. But of course, that's not, I didn't invent old wood. You said earlier that you are one of the few people who actually designs and produces, does the same, I mean, that the whole circle, right? Is, how is the, um, um, well, you said, you said basically you like to, to design and to think and then you like to produce also. If you're a designer and you uh, think about a product or how it looks like, but you forget how it will be transported, if it's, if it's comfortable, if it's uh, well producible, if it's heavy, if, you know, everything is important until, you know, the, the whole, as a designer you have to think from the ID until the consumer. What happens if, uh, you know, one of these trends is uh, the circular economy and, and one of the principles in the circular economy is that there is no trash. If you don't throw it away, you don't have to recycle. Right. So, but we want to throw away. So the whole idea of recycling starts with throwing away. Right. So I would say make something which you don't throw away, you have half the problem less. <laughs> and if you throw it away after a while, it's not as bad because you, you kept it longer.